Good morning, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. Nepal's passport continues to be listed as one of the weakest in the world. Eight cases of fake passports filed within a year, 200,000 Nepali passports under surveillance of Interpol. The meeting of the House of Representatives currently underway at the Parliament building. Discussions to be held on the budget allocated for various ministries. U.S. President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, found guilty of lying about drug addiction while purchasing a gun. Could be sentenced to 25 years in prison and a fine of up to $7.5 million. And the T20 World Cup 2024 match between Sri Lanka and Nepal abandoned due to heavy rains in Florida. Both the teams share points. Australia in the top eight with a game in hand. Nepal's passport has continued to be listed as one of the weakest in the world. This is due to the mistakes identified during foreign visits, misuse of passports and Nepal being a third world country. However, actions against those who provide fake passports to foreigners and those who have acquired dual passports have remained dismal. Interpol has considered misuse of passports as a serious issue. The entity has provided devices to majority of the airports across the world that can identify passports that had been reported to have been lost. The passport department provides details of a passport that is required reacquired saying it was lost. 170,400 Nepali passports have been under the monitoring of Interpol since the year 2014. Likewise, police have been taking action against those who acquire passports by providing wrong information. Eight cases related to fake passports have been filed within the past one year. Rabilal Basyal of Chitwan had been arrested on charge of acquiring a passport by providing another individual's personal detail. Basyal had been using a passport that was issued in the name of Thamprasad Subedi. Subedi had filed a police complaint after he knew that his passport had been issued in another person's name. Actions had also been taken against Sarita Danwar of Sindhupalchok, who had acquired a fake passport to marry with a Chinese national. As per the legal provisions, foreign nationals can also acquire Nepali passports. Meanwhile, those who acquire faced passports can be jailed up to three years. Discussions on the budget allocated for four different ministries under the appropriation bill are scheduled to be held at the House of Representatives today. The meeting of the House of Representatives is currently underway at the Parliament building in capital's new Banishur. Discussions on the budget allocated for various ministries, including urban development, defence, women, children and senior citizens, and law, justice and parliamentary affairs has been scheduled for today. The Parliament Secretariat has said that the proposal for a reduction of expenses registered by lawmakers will also be presented at the Parliament today. Janata Samajbadi Party Nepal is scheduled to elect a new party leadership today. The party's general convention that is underway in Janakpur for the past three days will conclude today. The party's general convention that is ongoing in Janakpur will appoint 20 office bearers including the party chair and elect 201 member central committee. Upendra Yadav will likely be elected with majority, however the number of aspirants seems to have increased. Former Chief Minister of Madesh Province Lal Bahadur Raut, Rakam Chemjong and Raj Kishore Yadav are popular names for the post of assistant chairperson while Chief Minister Saroj Kumar Yadav and Hari Narayan Yadav have expressed aspiration for the post of vice chairperson. President Ramchandra Paudel has left for Geneva to participate in the International Labour Organization Convention. President Paudel left for Switzerland and Germany visit yesterday. The president will reach Geneva via Doha, Qatar. First Lady of Nepal, Sabita Paudel, is also visiting Geneva. This is the first official foreign visit of Paudel after being appointed to the post. President Paudel is scheduled to address the inaugural session of the high-level session of the convention titled Worldwide Alliance for Social Justice as the keynote speaker.
Following his visit to Switzerland, President Podil will leave for Berlin, Germany on 15th of June. He will conclude his foreign visit and return on 19th of this month. Time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. Here's the question. What should be done regarding the encroachment and exploitation of the lands of Pashupati? Options are A. Immediate investigation and action. B. Trust should be more responsible. And C. Stop political interference. Voting is on. Type any WS. Select your option A, B or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Police have arrested four individuals who have been accused of fraud of 150 million rupees on the pretext of sending people abroad. Police have arrested and made public Rajkumar Bhatta of Bharatpur Chitwan, Nabin BK of Machapushri Rural Municipality Kaski and Pawan Panta of Pokhara Metropolis. Likewise, police have also arrested Narayan Kumar Khadka of Sulukumbu in connection to a similar case. The Kathmandu Valley Crime Investigation Office has said that they had scammed more than 300 people and accumulated around 150 million rupees on the pretext of sending them to the USA, Cambodia, New Zealand and France. Police have also said that complaints have been filed against them, citing they had set up fake accounts in Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, among other digital platforms to lure unsuspecting individuals. In our Public Voice segment, we had asked people in several provinces, what is the reason for the decrease in number of students at campuses? Let's take a look at what they had to say. भविष्य सुंदर छैन ती गयो अनि भोलि तीको ग्रीन कार्ड होल्डर लगायत अन्य पनि व्यवसायहरु गर्न ओर्न पनि ती सजिलो हुन्छ भन्ने सोचेर उनीहरु चाहिँ अहिले विदेशै तिर पलायन भइरहेका छन् प्लस टु गर्ने अनि यहाँहरु व्यवस्था जान विदेश तिर जाने सब भन्न सोचे त्यो भइराछ त्यसले गर्दा विद्यार्थी संघ घट्ने रोजगारी पाउनको लागि पढ्ने हो यो देशमा रोजगारी केही पनि केही पनि देखिएन र सबै विदेशी नलायो विद्यार्थी प्लस टु गरेपछि विदेशी नै एउटा लहर अफसर को खोजी डिग्री पास के अरे मास्टरी गरे पनि एउटा जागिर पाइदैन नभएपछि त जनतालाई त विदेशमै जानु पर्यो नि त बेरोजगारी भएको कारणले पनि स्टुडेन्ट पराजित छ यहाँ बस्न अलिकति मन स्थिति हुँदैन देशमा पाइ पर्नु देशबाट शिक्षा लिनु त्यहाँ रोजगार पाउँछ भनेर मात्र मलाई लाग्छ कि यो शिक्षा क्षेत्र घटे पडेसी यहाँ काम चाहिँ जागिर चाहिँ त पाउँदैन नेपालमा बडी सबैजना विदेश जान खोज खोज्छन् बडी पैसा कमाउने कहाँ कमाउने भनेर प्रविधि मैत्री चाहिँ शिक्षासँग जोड्न नसकेको कारण टाइम नाउ फर इन्टरनेसनल अपडेट U.S. President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, has been found guilty of lying about drug addiction while purchasing a gun. Hunter Biden has been found guilty on all three counts in his federal gun crimes case in Delaware. In 2018, when buying a handgun, Biden hid the fact that he was addicted to drugs. There is a legal provision in the U.S. that drug addicts cannot buy or possess guns. A 12-member jury in a Delaware state court found Hunter, Hunter guilty of all three federal firearms offenses. It is said that Hunter can be sentenced to a maximum of 25 years in prison and a fine of up to $7.5 million. However, according to the international media, it is very unlikely that such a long sentence will be given to those who commit such a crime for the first time. It is said that the court will determine the sentence against Hunter only in mid-October. It is the first time a sitting president's child was found guilty of a crime. President Biden said he would accept the outcome of this case and continue to respect the judicial process Hunter considers an appeal. In the United States, the presidential election is being held in November and Joe Biden is competing for a second term. It seems that the issue of his son being convicted of a gun-related criminal offense may also affect Biden's election. Hamas accepted a UN Security Council ceasefire resolution and is ready to negotiate over the details, senior Hamas official Sami Abu Zuri said yesterday while stressing Israel's responsibility to implement the resolution. 
The UN Security Council on Monday adopted a resolution aimed at reaching a comprehensive ceasefire deal in three phases to end the war in Gaza. Adopted by a large majority with 14 votes in favor and Russia abstaining, Resolution 2735 also urges both parties to the conflict to fully implement the terms of the proposal without delay and without condition. Hamas accepted the resolution in regard to the ceasefire withdrawal of Israeli troops and swap of hostages for detainees held by Israel, Abu Zuri said, adding that it was a responsibility to ensure that Israel abides by it. Riyad Mansour, permanent observer of the Observer State of Palestine, said after the adoption of the resolution, it is now the Israeli side's responsibility to implement the resolution and achieve an immediate ceasefire. However, Israel's representative to the UN, Reut Shapir Ben Naftali, emphasized that Hamas's refusal to release the hostages through diplomacy has proven Israel's effort to bring Israeli hostages home, but also include military means. Planes were grounded on flooded runways at the airport in Palma, the capital of the Spanish island of Mallorca, as heavy rain swept over the popular tourist destination yesterday. Operator Aina said in a statement that the storm brought all activity to a halt at San Sant Joan Airport, Spain's third biggest due to the impossibility of operating safely. Transport Minister Oscar Puente said that the airport activated its emergency plan and flights to Mallorca were temporarily rerouted to alternative airports. Puente later said on social media platform X that the airport was resuming operations as the rain subsided. National Weather Agency said its station at the airport recorded rainfall of nearly 5 cm per hour with peaks of up to 9 cm in less than an hour. Cars also struggled to traverse the airport's flooded parking lot. Passenger traffic at the airport last year reached 31.1 million, an all-time record. The Mediterranean island, known for its picturesque beaches and sunny weather, is one of Europe's most visited destinations, especially popular with German and British tourists. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.